Today is the last day that you can summon for Water Beetle. I am an Orbia main, and it's a pretty obvious choice why everyone in the majority should be summoning on Water Beetle. I mean, hell, some content creators say if you don't summon for Water Beetle, then you should just quit the game. But today, I'm gonna tell you why, as an Orbia main, why I'm not summoning Water Beetle. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day, secret dungeons and your friendship tokens. You get five supports a week, so that means five extra pieces to either of the three light dungeons or the three dark. Use your friendship tokens only on one specific monster dungeon. This is a monster that you are going to want to build. Say you want to build a light how. Use all five friendship tokens on light how only, but if you focus your friendship tokens like this instead of just doing whatever is open at the time, just to get them done for the breath of life's just focus on one at the most you'll have a dupe by the end of the month however you're pulling a secret dungeon every day getting 10 pieces of a random dungeon and you're gonna land on that monster that you want specifically at some point so you should be getting the dupe before that the more you know okay sir neptune a lot of people are gonna say barco what are you thinking this is an s tier korean monster s tier on north america service 2 no brainer summon all all you can. Yeah, he is an amazing monster. A definite must pick for Orbia mains at this point in time. And I mean this point in time because two things. One is he's probably going to get power creeped out by somebody else, whether that's a better knight or a counter to Neptune. Two, he's not the best on every single summoner. It's only on Orbia. And if you're free to play like most of you are on this channel or a small spender, you need to save your resources wisely. I'm not telling you that you should not pull Water Beetle. Because if you do, he's still going to be very crucial to your team. The team then evolves around Sir Neptune and Orbia. But I'm not going to summon him. I'm going to tell you the pros and I'm going to tell you the cons. And for me, the cons outweigh the pros. All right, let's talk about the pros. Why it's a good reason to have Sir Neptune on your team as an Orbia main. Numero uno, the most important reason why everyone thinks Water Beetle should be with Orbia. His passive screams Orbia. It's on a two minute cooldown. Beetle Knight cannot be immune to provoke, which it doesn't really matter. When the summoner takes death inflicting damage, it ignores the damage. Then it gives the summoner Endure, which means they cannot die unless that Endure buff is stripped. The passive also heals the summoner for 47% of the summoner's HP. So a half bar heal and an Endure. Amazing. She also can't be one shot. Even better. He also has a move speed down so Orbia can kite a little bit better crit res up which it's a crit resistance of 30 percent and a level one heal over time so that's 56 percent of the hp of the target over 16 seconds this skill is pretty decent however his second skill is a little bit better it applies an aoe defense break which is great for orbia and it applies cc effect of airborne at a 62 percent rate the airborne crowd control when it hits is nice but it's a gamble of a rate obviously water beetles good from getting one shot with the Endure for PvP Battlefield. However, Water Beetle is also good for PvE content. Some of the content that may not be 100% for you because Orbia dies before your monsters. Sir Neptune can help with that with the Endure and also the Instant Heal. Those are all the good things about Sir Neptune. Now I'm going to tell you the cons because to me the cons outweigh the pros tremendously. Number one, one of the most simple cons. Sir Neptune is water. We have gotten so many good monsters that are water it's not the end all be all obviously it's just one little small con second he is a knight knight will be in the front line charges the closest enemy so nine times out of ten it's a knight versus a knight assassins will be going off away from the knights 
targeting ranged targets first like Orbeas and even archers like Theo or mages like Sekhmet. So the assassins typically won't even be in the range of Sir Neptune's abilities. There may be some supports that are close to the front line or if you're Orbea you can stand on Water Beetle to manipulate the melee enemies to come to you in Water Beetle's vicinity. But nine times out of ten the AoE defense break and the airborne crowd control is going on a night. However if you're Orbea and you do manipulate the enemies that come on to you, giggity, you're stacked on Water Beetle, then Water Beetle and your summoner is vulnerable to things like heal block, beneficial block effect, beneficial buff removal, which is all counters to Water Beetle's passive. The heal over time is only level 1, the passive is very long, it's 2 minute cooldown, and like I said, he's a knight, he doesn't have a provoke, his crowd control is only 62%, his move speed down, as an Orbea you can bring move speed down yourself and that comes with a heal block which heal block is a counter to water beetle and you heal yourself with orbia as a dark staff yeah these things would stack like move speed would stack with her second skill move speed but if you think the move speed is beneficial it can be in certain situations but then you're just moving around and not doing damage i talked about sir neptune being water you can ignore the passive altogether and just nuke down water beetle yeah i'm sure there is some tanky water beetle out there you would need a defense break maybe a damage taken up hmm, maybe like does more damage on the more debuffs big class cannon nuker who would that be oh i know orbia windstaff orbia wow and guess what windstaff does ignores the target's death denial effect oh you can use that on the orbia with water beat not to mention orbia herself after the buffs that she got you now have five stacks of spell shield which any spell cast on her ignores the damage until five hits of skills applied but not only that her magic shield now ignores lethal damage so you can't get one shot and this gives you a shield pretty much of 40 percent of the max hp which is technically close enough to water beetles passive yes you don't get indoor i get it what happens when you pull this i mean we can all pray right but what happens if you do or what happens when you have a four star light heart who in my opinion would be a much better choice for an orbia and can apply indoor way more times in a match within two minutes pretty much four more times than a water beetle could and gives attack up and gives the same heal over time and has a passive heal on the basic attack and decreases Orbia's cooldowns and gives her skill acceleration for 16 seconds. This is one of the many main reasons why I'm not pulling Water Beetle is because I can pull a Light Dova which brings way more to the table and I can pull her in Unknown Scrolls. Don't need to waste Devil Mons. To me, in my opinion, a much better monster than Water Beetle would be. But let's get back to Orbia real quick. If you have Shield Crush maxed out, you're going to get a level 1 defense break just from her skills because I'm sure as an Orbia you better have her max crit anyway and the difference between a level 2 defense break and a level 1 is 4% defense broke. Sir Neptune is literally a copy of Orbia except Orbia is the damage dealer version Sir Neptune is the tank version and that's another con Water Beetle takes up a spot on your team comp. I'd rather bring in like Teor, Bastet, and Juno. Got burst heals, got cleanse, got buff strips, a shield, attack buff, AoE provoke, defense break. It just doesn't make sense to me why a lot of people would lose a team comp spot just for Sir Neptune. When in normal arena, you already know what the team defense is before you go in. So you can just counter whatever they have. Not only that, in Brawl Arena, if it's Orbia versus Orbia, whoever has first pick is getting Water Beetle. You then cannot pick water beetle and then you just ban the water beetle which yeah the enemy can then manipulate knowing that you're gonna ban water beetle and bring the four monsters that they want to bring and yeah that's what I'm going to do in the future when I pull one water beetle randomly just gonna use it as ban bait but I'm not gonna use all my summons that I'm saving up for Sir Neptune when you have hell ladies coming up and you have vampire hunters coming up this is my personal opinion obviously but I just want to explain why I'm not going to have a water beetle because today is the last day for the summon banner and yeah I can use all my summons
summons to try to get water beetle but in my opinion i feel like the cons outweigh the pros and i wanted to explain that to you just in case you're still pondering whether to summon at the last minute or not and that's it for today's video water beetle amazing monster and call me crazy but i'm not doing it if you like my videos and like my content sub like ding ding bell i'll see you in the next one peace